Now let's talk about probability with Venn diagram. Some general rules. The sum of all probabilities inside of the Venn diagram is always equal to 1. Based on the information provided, we need to determine whether events overlap or not. We always start with the overlap region of the events and then work our way out. Let's look at some examples. Suppose probability of A, B, and probability of A and B is given like this problem. We want to construct a Venn diagram. Since probability of A and B is given, that means the two events A and B must overlap. We start with the overlap area and that probability is equal to 0.35. To get the probability of A but not B, we need to take probability of A, which is 0.45, and take away the overlap, which is 0.35, and that gives us 0.1 or I'm just going to use two decimals, 0.10. To get the probability of just B and not A, we need to do the same thing. We take probability of B, which is 0.65, and subtract probability of the overlap from it, and that would be 0.3, which is the same as 0.30. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the sum of all probabilities should be 1. So now we're going to take 1 minus all the numbers we have inside of the circles. To find out what probability will be outside of A or B. So to make some of all the probabilities inside of the Venn diagram, we should have 0.25 outside of circles or events A or B. Now, let's take a look at another example. Suppose two events A and B are independent events with probability of A and B given. And we want to find... Uh, or we want to construct the Venn diagram. Since these two events are independent, we're going to use the multiplication rule to find probability of A and B. Which gives us the overlap. The product rule says if two events are independent, probability of A and B will be probability of A times probability of B. 0 0.2 times 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.1. So this is the probability of the overlap, the area of the overlap, probability that A and B both happen. Now, just like the previous example, if I want to figure out probability of A but not B, I'm going to take probability of A, which is 0.2, subtract 0.1 to get 0.1, and that would be probability of A but not B. And if we want to find probability of just B but not A, we're going to take probability of B, which is 0.5, and take away 
probability of A and B, the overlap, 0.1, and that gives us 0.4. Now to find the probability of not A or B, another word outside of circles A or B, we go 1, which is the total probabilities for all, minus the numbers that are inside of the circles. would be equal to 0.4. So this will make the sum of all probabilities inside of the Venn diagram to be equal to 1. Now let's take a look at another example. Suppose two events A and B are mutually exclusive events and probability of A and B both are given individually. And we want to construct the Venn diagram. Since A and B are mutually exclusive events, by definition that means they are disjointed, which simply means those two events, they do not happen at the same time. So there is no overlap. So probability of A itself is 0.2. Probability B itself is 0.5. But once again, we want to make sure the sum of all probabilities inside of the Venn diagram is 1. So to find the rest of it, we're going to go 1 minus the sum of the numbers inside of the circles. gives us 0.3. Now let's look at a more practical example. A chain grocery store hires a research group to conduct a survey on how shoppers use coupons for shopping and whether or not they bring their own bags to carry out the uh, groceries. The research group discovers that 25% of shoppers use coupon, 45% of shoppers have their own bags, and 15% of shoppers use coupons and have their own bags. We want to construct the Venn diagram. Let's use C for coupon. B for bag, and the problem says 25% use coupons, so probability of C is equal to 0.25. 45% use bags, that would be probability of B, which is 0.45. and 15% use coupon and have their own bags. So that would be probability of C and B. So one of the circles, we're going to call them C for coupon and B for bag. And I start with the overlap, and that would be 0.15. Subtract 0.15 from 0.25, we get 0.10. So we're starting from the overlap. Subtract from a total probability for C to get the rest of C. And then we subtract 0.15 from the total probability of B, which is 0.45, and that gives us 0.30. And to complete the Venn diagram, we need to make sure the sum of all the numbers inside of the Venn diagram is 1. 
So for that, we're going to add all the numbers inside, like we did on the last two examples, and then subtract that from a total probability of 1. And that gives us 0. 0.45. Now let's use these examples in order to find other probabilities. So this problem we used earlier, we want to find probability of A given B. So we already know that probability of A and B is 0.35. The rest of A will be 0.10. The rest of B will be 0.30. And to make all of them inside of a Venn diagram to become equal to 1, we need 0.25 outside. The question is asking for probability of A given B. With a conditional probability calls for probability of A and B in the numerator divided by probability of the given, which is in this case B. Well, looking at the Venn diagram, A and B probability is 0.35. And probability of B is 0.65. Which I'll leave this for you to simplify, reduced fraction, or no more than three decimal places. Now in this example we had earlier, A and B were independent events. Probability of A was given, probability of B was given. We want to find probability of A or B. First, we use the multiplication rule, since the events were independent, to find out probability of A and B is equal to 0.1. The rest of A will be 0.1. The rest of B will be 0.4. And to make sum of all probabilities equal to 1, outside of the circles, we also need 0.4. The question is asking, for probability of A or B, which basically is some of the numbers inside of the circles. Or using the addition rule, this would be probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. Point 0.2 plus point 0.5 minus point 0.1, that gives us point 0.6. You may choose to add the numbers inside of the circles to get to the same answer. Earlier, we used C for coupon and B for bag. Probability that they have both was 0.15. Probability of the coupon, the rest for coupon is 0.10. And the rest of the B would be 0.30. And once again, in order to make all the probabilities add up to 1, we subtract the sum of these three numbers from a total probability 1 to get probability of outside of C or B. Now this problem is asking for probability that the shopper uses coupon given the shopper is using a bag. Well, probability of and goes on top, 
and probability of the given goes in the bottom. So once again, I leave this up to you to make it reduced fractions or no more than three decimal places. Now the same grocery problem, but now we want to find probability that the shopper brings a bag given he or she does not use coupons. So let's make our Venn diagram complete again. We use C for coupon, D for bag. Probability for both C and B was 0.15. The rest of C was 0.10. The rest of B was 0.30. And outside was 0.45. Now this problem is saying what's the probability that a shopper brings a bag given he or she does not use coupons. So we need probability of bag and not coupon divided by probability of not coupon. By looking at the Venn diagram, we see probability of B and not C is equal to 0.30. And probability of not C is 0.75. And once again, I'll leave this for you to reduce or no more than three decimal places. Well, I hope this uh, presentation helped you understand how to use Venn diagram along with probability problems.